From the White House Law, anchoring the news today on NBC, he did the worst on Libyan first plans to retire. He did check with any of it. We asked him to take a look back at all 34 years of it. And John, I know you have uh, this weekend, and then that's it. And I guess we should begin tonight with what I consider some of your best work about the Carter in the desert that was such a colossal failure. You were the first guy to get the story. And one of the stories with a very unhappy ending. That was the night I got a tip to come to the White House. Or at least came to the White House. I received a tip that uh, an attempt uh, had been made that, that failed to rescue the American hostages being held in Tehran. Uh, I didn't know that when I arrived here at the White House. I just saw a lot of brass around and the CIA and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. To make a long story short, about two hours later, I got hold of the information and was ready to go with it and uh, was asked by the White House to delay it just a, a little while to make sure that no Americans were in harm's way. And then after that, uh, that pause, I came out on the lawn very nervous because I'd just been at the White House for six months and the last year of the Carter administration. And uh, it, was, it was my big story of all the time uh, here at the White House. You have covered uh, five presidents, all completely different characters, all over the gamut. Uh, I had the distinct honor of traveling many thousands of miles with you during the Clinton administration. As you look back on those five characters with a small C or capital C, what stands out, John? Well, I think uh, how differently each president uh, tackled the job. As they say, as you know, there is no on-the-job training for this, uh, this business as being president of the United States. So everyone tackled the situation in, in his own way, and I thought that was, uh, that was quite fascinating. I, I think I, I was uh, enriched for a, for a kid from the East Tennessee Mountains to be able to, uh, to go fishing with Jimmy Carter, to go to the movies with Ronald Reagan, and to play golf with Bill Clinton. Uh, that, along with the work has been uh, uh, quite a treat, and I'm, I feel very privileged. We've been watching what appear to be high school photos of Brokaw <laughs> and you while uh -huh. you've been talking. Uh, John, you mentioned the presidency. It's always said about it that there's no on-the-job training. A lot of that can be said for, for what you do for a living, and what's been your guiding light a as a kid from East Tennessee? How did you learn to tell a story so well? Well, I've just been at it a very, very long time. I started in, in 1960 uh, in, uh, at WSB in Atlanta, Georgia, and kind of worked my way up and around and overseas and back again. I think it's just spending a lot of time doing it and uh, looking at people like Walter Cronkite and Edward R. Murrow and seeing how they did it and, uh, and how well they stood the test of time. And uh, I patterned myself as much as I could for uh, the way they did things. Let's pause for just a second and really embarrass my colleague John Palmer. John, here's a voice you may recognize. After many years of great service uh, to the broadcast world, John, I understand you're retiring. I want to thank you for your hard work, your occasional good story about me. I want you to know this on your way out of town, that you're a heck of a lot better looking than Tom Brokaw. Laura and I wish you all the best. God Made even all the more crea courageous, John, because as you know, Brokaw was sitting about four feet from the president's knees at that point. Yes, that story comes from uh, Brokaw apparently was hired after I left uh, the station in Atlanta because they said, you look so much like the other guy. Well, I had more hair then, and perhaps I did. John, how has the, how has the White House changed chiefly? It's changed uh, a lot, and uh, not as far as reporters are concerned, in good ways. We have now less access uh, to the president than we used to have. One reason is there are a lot more journalists, a lot more television cameras uh, out here on the lawn. There are more reporters covering the White House. But more has been, uh, perhaps, is attributed to national security. Uh, with uh, the attempt on uh, President Reagan's life, security really was tightened, even among reporters and uh, around the president, and that really hasn't loosened up that much. Uh, you don't have the access uh, to the president on a daily base, basis that you used to have, for instance, with uh, President Carter. when you'd, It was not unusual to see him for, so questions never built up. There was always an opportunity to say, uh, Mr. President, what about this, and get an answer and get it on the air pretty quickly. John, the pleasure has belonged to those of us who have worked and traveled with you. You and Nancy still have our address. Don't be strangers. A fabulous retirement to you after a fabulous career, John. Thank you, Brian, very much. Thanks for having me. We'll take a break. We'll be right back after this.